of the FA into t integrating younger players into the national team. How do you think such a tournament helps you personally in identifying talent for the national team? Uh, it goes a very long way, you know. Uh, for me, it's a huge opportunity for um, everyone to grab it. Um, it's not easy to bring, uh, to find a player, let alone to bring teams together or players together for you to be able uh, to, to pick the ones that you believe um, can help whatever team you that you are in or your country and all that. So uh, this initiative is amazing. I give thumbs up to uh, my brother, uh, Baby Jet Asamwajan, uh, for making it happen. You know, um, we, 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 the coaches, we always want to find uh, a top talent. That makes it easy for us when you are uh, passing on something to them, makes it easy, easy for us. So um, I'm happy that uh, this has come. And uh, I'm looking forward to see a very good tournament. Some may say at this level, you don't, you don't need to have the, 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 the mentality, I must win, I must win. Mm. Just play the football, try and finance your skills. Personally, as a coach, what, what are you looking out for with these players? Yes, I, I agree with you. Uh, at this level, is development. Uh, the moment you put in um, results, um, then you, you deviate from whatever you are bringing on board. Sometimes you have to play ugly to win games, right? Uh, but in, at this age, you are trying to educate them. Um, you're trying to educate them uh, psychologically, uh, technically, tactically. So if you wanted to win and you, you, you leave uh, tactical discipline, you wanted to win the game, you leave tactical discipline, then you are not helping the, the, the young ones. They have to get used to... Um, the game tactically, technically they have to be okay. Psychologically, they should be ready to stand any pressure and all that. So when you focus on those things, that's when it started growing. You get used to that uh, after you 16, getting to you 17, 18, 19, then it's getting close. It's a transition age. It's getting close to the first thing. With that, if you have all this foundation, then the, the moment it gets to um, 19 to uh, 20, that is getting close to the first thing. Then the, 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 the winning mentality sets in. But we, when you start with the mini, winning mentality now, what if definitely you have to lose games? What if you started losing games and he loses his confidence? At that level, you need to give them confidence. You wanted to see them grow uh, with proper coaching education. That's when he, the, the, you have a future for, for, for him. So. This, tournament is, this tournament is just one individual trying to put Ghana on the map or trying to give Ghanaian teams the opportunity to improve. Do you think it's time for Ghana to move away from having teams and having well-run academy systems? Because you look at Morocco, you look at Senegal, you look at uh, even Nigeria, they, they are doing some in South Africa. They have academies running actively. Bangana is just a few academic systems. Do you think it's time for us to move away from the coach football to academic systems? Um, uh, coach football is, is more of an academy. It's just the name. I look at it as the, because if you are setting up an academy, you need the youth players to play in the academy, right? And coach too, you need youth players to play in, in, in coach. A lot, we, a lot of people say, okay, I have an academy. I'm, I'm setting up an academy. But what quality do you have in your academy? You go to um, uh, some academies and they are using just three, four balls to play. I don't think it's, it's, it's proper. We need, the, the FA need to make sure um, all the academies that are set up have proper, proper, I will not say structure, but organization, proper organization before they are allowed to run, run academies. First of all, you need to have uh, proper housing. Try to put them in a bubble because uh, you know they are young. Uh, environmental traits can influence their development a lot. So, first of all, you have to have uh, 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 put them in a bubble. You have uh, uh, proper housing for them, uh, 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 education plan for them. Because definitely, uh, uh, because you are teaching them something, they have to take in information well. They have to have the right uh, uh, mindset that they can take in information. Because well, let's say you are, you are teaching them uh, uh, 
building up from the back this week. And then you, 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 you go through with them throughout the week, building up the, from the back. These, these are the principles. When the ball is in the middle area, this is what we're doing. Keep the ball central first, this is what we're doing. And then the following week, you are asking them the same question. They forgot it. Then you have to come and start all over again. So we need to make sure we have proper structure for them, education, uh, uh, putting them in the bubble that they, they, they cannot associate themselves with the other uh, environment that will uh, slow their development. Uh, then also make sure the coaches that you are hiring, they are well educated so that when they are passing things on, they know what they are passing on to the, to the players. Um, now let's look at your time as the 17 coach. We, we saw you, have, you had a brilliant time on the tour. Um, you scored 17 goals and considered 10. They've been complaining that the team concedes a lot. Um, others have argued that at this age, that shouldn't be what we are, the feedback we are getting. What are your thoughts on some of these concerns that have come from Canadians and how do you improve this? Um, for, for me, I think uh, whatever you do, you have critics. And I, I, I accept it 110%. But one thing we should know that uh, is the style of play that we are playing. Um, we, we are an attacking team. You can see before the tournament, we played uh, our last three friendly games. Uh, including the three games in the tournament and then the two friendly games with Saudi Arabia, we played eight matches. We scored 31 goals. 31 goals. The least goal that we score is three goals. Um, I knew a lot of fans would say, oh, uh, Ghana national team is only one goal project. Now we're scoring goals. We're scoring goals. And definitely opponents will have opportunity to also score. At the end of the day, we, we make sure we, we, we come out with a win and we make sure we are always ahead of the, 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 the opponent. We're scoring goals. Of course, you have to concede goals. Man City have been conceding goals. If you have in the stats from Man City, they score a lot of goals. But when you calculate the goals that they've conceded, it's almost half of the goals that they score. Is it on the same thing to, <laughs> to the U17s? We should fo focus on the positives. Now, if you go to um, you look at the likes of England and in Italy, they have a camp where these players after tournaments, they have a special house that they are kept in for quite a time. So, mm. Before the player will go out, spend some time, come back, the person is, is still housed with the in style, uh, in-house style of play. Mm. Do you think it's high time we consider this for junior national teams? Yes, of course, we have to. We have to because that's the uh, only thing te teams, uh, countries are doing. Um, Serbia, where we had the tournament, where we stay in, that's their national team base. And it's well structured. They have teams, they have uh, pitches around there, they have hotel. So when they get there, you can see they have everything close to them. And it's well, well structured as well. So, so with, that, with that, I think it helps a lot. It makes it easy for the coaches and then for the players to enjoy their, their, their development. They have everything close to them. So for me, I think proper housing, like I mentioned earlier on, proper housing and then keeping them in the bubble, I think that will help uh, them grow very fast. Thank you very much.